Hello baby girls, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Fabi, a Latina content creator living in Los Angeles. This vlog, I've already went through it, edited it down, but it's all over the place. It's like a life update, where I'm at mentally, emotionally, and just like a week in my life working a nine to five while also being a content creator. It's all over the place, but this is just where I'm at in my life right now. Like I'm just trying to get it together, especially with my time management and discipline and consistency. I hope you enjoy this vlog. It's a little long. I know my bad but like I said I'm all over the place and I will hopefully see you in the next one good morning vlog what is she doing what is she doing I don't know why but I got the urge to start vlogging again because homegirl needs to update you guys on on a lot like baby girls we need to sit down and chit chat well you need to sit down and catch up with me and I'm gonna chit chat on my way to work I feel like I need to update you guys on where I'm at mentally, emotionally. I'm about to hit the year mark of living in LA next month on the 27th. We're hitting 11 months and next month we're hitting 12. And I'm 28 years old. I don't know, I just feel like I need to start documenting or like vlogging my life so I can look back and reflect on it. Cause I look back and like, I think about where was I at a year ago? I'm like, dang, I wish I had some sort of vlog so I can look back on and think about so I'm gonna do that right now here I don't even know where to start first things first your girl single that's the first thing um, it's about to be a whole year being single and I've written like you know I've had my fun and everything but now it's time to care take care of business and I was on dating apps and I deleted all of them now kind of intense on how to start on starting the vlog like that but uh, another thing that happened is that I got into a car accident and that car accident happened on February 1st so from February 1st all the way till beginning of June is where I was not going to the gym I was meal prepping here and there my mental health down what what was I doing yeah my life was being centralized around guys because I was bored I had nothing to do I could have done something with my life but um because I couldn't go to the gym I was like well what can I do I would admit that's what I was up to now I'm done with it why because I opened up to this guy and it was the first time I opened up to someone since my ex and you broke my heart you broke my so there's that but no okay so like I've been on my self-love journey I've definitely had like like this big effect on my mental health and just being single also just like processing of like like from being divorced to now fully single and when was the last time I was single I was 19 years old so I have I feel like I haven't been properly single before so learning all of that like throughout like living here in LA and just being single is just like learning how to be single dating on business raising the standards also just trying to have fun but it's been, I say it's been really difficult been really hard doing all of that also while doing content creating I haven't been doing good with my content or like consistent how I would like it to be because I just want it to be 100% perfect but no one is perfect so why 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 should I make it perfect like I should just put it out there but I'm doing this vlog because I need to get my together I'm going back to the gym not consistently how I want to but I am back in the gym I'm back to meal prepping we upgraded meal prepping like our meal prepping meal prepping containers they're glass now I bought myself a new car I bought myself my first car by myself this is sexy red she is white on the outside red on the inside because she's sexy red you get it but yeah and I just feel like I um, feel like I'm not the only one that's going through this with, with you know single self-love getting into a routine so why not documentary and also I feel like when I vlog it for y'all I get more I feel like I'm more disciplined because when someone is watching you you're like well you don't want to fail so you gotta do it but the problem is my discipline on editing a vlog you know a lot of stuff is easier said than done like just cut just cut that person off your life or just don't talk to him or like girl raise your standards like a lot of it is easier said than done and I just feel like a veces we have to aprender a las malas yo aprendí en las malas and that's where we're at another update is my ex and I haven't been in no contact since November but that got broken that got broken I want to say end of June 
and you're like how was that no contact broken if he's blocked everywhere well people were messaging me that he wanted to talk to me and blah 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 and I was like I have nothing to say to him I don't know what he wants to say to me but it's because I got some of y'all that are in my stories that report back to him he found out that I barely got into my car accident I'm like boy that car accident happened back in February no so he was just like wanting to know how my life is doing i was like oh dude my life is great it's amazing i told him like i bought my new car that i have a good job and he's like oh wow i'm proud amazing like great for you i'm like yeah I'm, that's I was like that's what happens when when you leave someone that's holding you back i don't know shots were fired because I, he knows how i'm bitter i am about the whole situation it just ended up being like simple conversation and he asked me if i was ever gonna go back to oregon and i said no um yeah he, he asked me if i had someone i'm like that's none of your business i did i did call him out on a shit because i remember that um someone told me that he brought someone over to to his family's on christmas and i'll and i called him out and i'm like wow you're really quick but you know what, at the end of the day we're both adults he can do whatever he wants i can do whatever i want we both shot fires at each other and i was like do you have anything else to say before you're back on the, on the block and he's like no just wish you the best and blah 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 and i was like cool but having that conversation with him just it was like since november no contact so that was like like seven months of no contact and i was like nah i'm not going back i even told him that like the person that he thought that because we were together for seven years but the person that he thought i was is not the same person who i am today if you have not talked to me in the past i want to say six months you do not know me or even the three months you do not know me you can you can know the past me the past fabi but that's not me broke the no contact and it was honestly just so sort of like uh okay cool like i'm not hung up on him no more or it was just kind of like a like a like i already knew there was like closure but it was like a secure closure that like yeah for sure this is not meant to be and it's okay i realized i'm freaking rambling so much but i feel like on my like vlogging i feel like my vlogs i just like venting session vent just rent it out i'm gonna go to work i'm gonna do this nine to five it's nine oh five i'm late yeah i feel like that was like i needed to get it off my chest life is good i'm very grateful i need to work on myself get back in a routine that's what i need to get back on and i feel like documentary or like documentary just vlogging or recording this I feel like it's gonna help me get back on my zoom because once you put it out there that you want to better your life and improve well you put it out there so you better you better get on your zoom and i'm trying to get on my zoom and lately i just feel like i've been like being encerrada and closed off and not sharing i just have, of course i've been posting content but like i feel like i haven't been sharing of what how is fabi doing where is fabi at emotionally unavailable mentally you need to get together i will catch up with you guys after work i just got home from work i took sexy red to go get weekly wash i need to clean out my console here because like she a mess she a mess like i carry so much stacks with me but i bought like a bunch of new stuff for like to keep in my car like in case of emergencies today was such a good day at work I got literally the best news ever. Because of my car accident, I ended up opening the case at my job. I work at a law firm. It ended up being good news and honestly, it just made me super excited. Like summer, this is gonna be a good summer. I mean, it's, it's already summer, but it's good, it's good, it's good. In my car, I always have snack because my commute is an hour to and from work. Life has been down. I've been down, you know, for a couple of months and I realized like this morning, I went on ramp. Like my girl, you good you need therapy mm-hmm mm -hmm. i feel like my form of therapy lately has been you know just reading my self-care books self-love and makeup i got a little bit of um everything i got band-aids i got hand sanitizer lip gloss deodorant taste salud lip balm vaseline like i got mouthwash last minute date mm, i'm there just kidding just kidding uh, never going on a last minute date everything should be planned out accordingly so i feel like i spend a lot of time in my car 
I need to be, you know, prepared. I think the next thing that I need to have is like an extra pair of shoes and clothes because uno nunca sabe. I want to dedicate this week to doing something like after work instead of like going straight home. Go do a fun activity. Like today, I dedicated to me carrito because she is my second home i spend a lot of time here with her and i need to take care of her also this is my first car i ever bought and let me just tell you cars are expensive bae i love you you my everything yeah so right now i'm just gonna get inside and i am going to edit because i need to start dedicating my time to editing and i want to go to bed early to go to the gym early it is 10 34 my favorite on TikTok are these, um, I am no man's piece. Those are my favorite. I realize that I'm supposed to be editing. Probs of living in Los Angeles. I was like, oh, like, is this brown noise music? Black noise music? I need to be more consistent on my editing game because I realize that my audience is there, my engagement is there. I just need to put myself out there. And did I clean my room? mind your business like try to keep it consistent and i'm at a point where i'm just gonna post whatever i'm very observant person and what i notice is what miss my name michael she don't she's on play okay from my understanding how she spreads out her content it's like she's always like a week or a couple days behind so when the vlog is going up she's posting like a day or two and she's like bam vlog dropped and also i'm trying to get like my content to be like vlog behind the scene they get ready with me short form videos so i'm not like a double dipping and also try to separate what is long form what is short form because if you i feel like if you don't know which, which one you're gonna do it may be confusing now i'm just gonna ramp this vlog is all over the place we're gonna do it we're gonna do it we're gonna edit a video real quick these are all my videos that i've edited on my ipad there's a lot more on my phone. The video concept is getting ready in Latina household, but I recorded this so long, but I'm still gonna post it. There's just so many Latino moments in this, like I gotta find like the best one. I'm getting tired. It is 11.08 and then I finished two more videos, but this is why like I need to get back on my creating. I don't want to post and I need to come up with a schedule. Let's go do my skincare routine. When it comes to me and my skincare, we locked in. I use Used to the People's Cleanser, which is so nice and just feels so good on my skin. And then I go in with this Cactus Oasis Serum by You to the People. I'm fucking laying in. <laughs> We don't let any product go to waste. So if there's any overs, bring it down to the skin. Or not to the skin. Bring it down to the neck. I need a moisturizer. I have this bio. I'm going to go bougie tonight. I'm going to put my Tatcha night cream. I feel like when it comes to skincare, you don't got to be doing all these stuff. Like I didn't I didn't put toner on. Oh, she's glowing. This is uh, the skin. Do you guys ever like, obviously when you get home from work, you change out of your work clothes, okay? If you don't, now you gotta know. Do not put outside. Don't lay on your bed with ropa de afuera. So this is like my lounging clothes, but then I also have other clothes. That's like my pajama clothes that I wear it once I'm for sure, for sure. Because I live with family. I gotta keep it PG, gotta keep it appropriate. Oh, I'm gonna go meet me now. I will catch you guys in the morning. So past my bedtime. 11.46. I know it's bad. I'm not gonna get my full eight hours, but I need to go to the gym and I need to be disciplined. Good morning. It is like 5.45. I'm late to the gym, but I'm on my way. I'm just gonna do like a full hour workout. Quick leg workout. I need to eat something. I need to be back here by seven. I'm being a little too loud, so let's go to the car and chit chat before I go to the gym. Okay, triceps are the back. Muscles coming in. Get it sexy. Get it sexy. She looking so clean. Oh my god, I scratched the rim. I don't know if you can see it. 
yeah broke my heart isn't she gorgeous like she's all mine i did that by myself grandma oh my god i need to drink this because i'm getting an asco breathe do you feel like you get an asco like in the morning when you brush your teeth and you have it oh i'm so sorry I get an asco when I brush my teeth, I'm moving my body, and I haven't ate anything. So I drink like half of this Core Power 42 grams. Honestly, I love it because it helps me make my protein. Love and hate because I need to include more whole food proteins into my diet. No pre-workout because the stuff that I've been through in the past couple weeks, and the, I would say in the month of June, that's enough pre-workout to get me to the gym. Oh, I'm not going to the gym because of like whatever I'm going through. I'm going to the gym because I have a goal and I'm 28. And I want to be in the best shape of my life by my 30s. So I just turned 28 in April. So I'm like, uh, what are we doing? Obviously, I couldn't work out because of my accident. But yesterday was such a good day at work. Today, I'm going to have an even better day. I'm literally the luckiest girl. The universe and God is always working in my favor and it's on my side. I want to go to the beach again this weekend. That was so random. But what's we going to start with? <laughs> The songs of vibe because of this 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 verse ready que levante la mano todo el que está haciendo dinero que venga el año nuevo yo voy a hacer lo entero un día de esto llega mi amor verdadero pero quiero hacerme rico primero like Period. Thank you, Benito, for reminding me porque el amor de mi vida has not come into my life because no estoy rica todavía. It was good workout. Not as good as I wanted it to be, but at least I got my gym. Did a little bit of legs, glutes, and cardio. I feel like that's how I should view life now. Like the other day, I was like, oh my god, I did nothing today. But, and I was like, today I went to the beach, I played volleyball, I moved my body, I took care of myself because all I did, I me mean, trying to like not use that, but what I did that day was literally just went to the beach, showered, and did a therapeutic body care and hair wash day. So instead of being like, oh my god, that's the only thing I did, no, I moved my body, I was active, I was able to get outside of the house house got home took care of myself it was a saturday and i dedicate those days saturdays or sundays one or the other not both one or the others i dedicate to just being at home and doing nothing but i feel like now instead of just being at home and doing nothing i want to do like you know have a reset day instead of like bed rotting go to the beach or you know go to a coffee shop gotta get home I need to take a quick shower, get ready. Let's get it today. Today is Tuesday. Tuesday is actually my favorite day of the work week. Why? Because Monday is like, Arr! but Tuesday feels like a full reset. A full restart for me. I took a shower, so like I took my time taking a shower. I'm late to work. It is 8.30. So this mix that I have is a scoop of protein, which is 25 grams of protein. Then I got creatine, collagen, two scoops of collagen, one scoop of creatine, and one scoop of greens. And my phone is getting old. Um grateful that I still have it and it still works, but it is an iPhone iPhone 11, and that sucker came out. Oof, years ago, we're already on the first or on form 15. Let's head to work and have a beautiful day. Um, hello vlog. It's nighttime, obviously. I literally didn't vlog after work because I was mentally drained. I was tired. I went and got takeout because I ran out of my meal preps. Deserve it, let's just say. I did like a Target pickup order, which I just picked up and it's 9.41. But I needed a I needed a bottle blender for my protein shake and I was so excited because it was like a lilac purple with turquoise and they ran out. But I did a pickup order of, of all my meal preps. I'm not going to show it to y'all right now because family, I live with family and I'm very privileged to live with family like living here in LA like I was like, literally driving right now where I'm at right now in life and where I was a year ago right now I'm very privileged to live with family save money the goal eventually is to move out and have my own space also was thinking i was like damn august is coming august is my like one of my favorite months of the summer like of the year because it's the hottest time of the summer summer's coming to an end and it's just like just so much more activities and then right behind um august just gotta get through september like spooky season like we literally go from summer to spooky season and it's my favorite time trust this year i'm going to disneyland during the fall 
all time because it's always been my goal. I just got done doing my skincare routine. As I was telling you guys uh, that I am very privileged to live with family. Like, I have my own room. But I'm going to be saving up and, you know, eventually moving out because everyone that has lived in this house has made it out. That is all my family. Like, my mom lived here. All my tias, all my uncles. Everybody, my grandparents lived here as well. Like, everybody has made it out. I know I'm gonna make it out because if my mom and her siblings and my grandparents made it out, I can too. Of course, those were different times when stuff was cheaper back in the day, but I still believe in myself that I can get myself out of here. And it's just crazy to think like where I was a year ago to today. I was mentioning that August is my favorite month. Crazy that in August is when I got my divorce. In August is when I moved to LA. In August is when I mark a, a year living in LA. Also, it's Virgo season. After Aries, I love Virgos. I'm an Aries and my moon is Virgo. Prepare myself to enter this new season in my life. I've been noticing a pattern lately that I enter a new season around August and September. Zona was up with that, but I just noticed I do and I like it. Honestly, every day I'm so grateful to have my car sexy red. Like, I did that. Like, I did that by myself. I remember that I was living in Oregon and I remember that I was like, there's no way like that I'm going to be able to afford to buy my own car. Like, I just can't. That's literally was my mentality. That I literally thought that I wasn't going to be able to afford my own car. Living here in LA, of course, everything is expensive out here. But people are like, oh my god, and it's expensive. Or how I see it, nothing has gone down in prices. If anything, a couple cents. But everything is going up in price. So the way that I see it is like, it is what it is. Obviously, be smart with your money. But it is what it is. That's what I'm going to pay for. I'm in that mentality right now. But eventually, I might get tired of it. I'm like, heck, who knows that I might want to like leave LA. But for right now, I'm, jo I'm enjoying this time of living here in Los Angeles. But one thing that I kept thinking is that like, Chloe with the K, she was ready to like move on from her 30s and into her 40s like she's ready to start a new decade i feel like like that right now where i'm ready to let go of my 20s and into my 30s i'm looking forward to third to being in my 30s one way to look forward to it and where i want to be and how i imagine my life would look um i might as well start those habits now this train this type of vibe in my 20s because i want to start a new decade with new energy new vibes new mindset too so why not start now why am i gonna wait until like i turn 29 you can restart whenever that was a ramble. I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I literally lay down like this and I put on a TV show and I'm pluck, pluck, pluck. What time is it? I told myself. I told myself I wanted to be in. I wanted to go to sleep by 10 20, by 10 30. It's 10 27. 10.45, but I will catch y'all tomorrow. I'm just gonna watch a little bit of TV and then pluck my brows because look at homegirls. Embarrassing, that's overdue. Good morning. I obviously didn't go to the gym. I honestly just didn't wake up on time. I put multiple alarms. But the time that I was woken up by the alarm, I looked at the time like, she got me there, buddy. I am late. Might as well start getting ready and try to get to work early. My dilemma every morning is to figure out what top to wear to work that's appropriate because when it comes to summer i don't have a lot of like professional tops but when it comes to winter i literally just wear my crew neck yeah, these are pants i brought my clothes but they're so horrible. this one i was gifted from good american i know love the quality the material of it i'm sorry but this ass is looking fat ignore the mess but like Excuse me? I feel like every time we chit chat, it's a sexy rat. I'm literally the luckiest girl, God in the universe, is always on my side and working in my favor. I honestly do feel very grateful and blessed. 
but I feel even more grateful and blessed because it's unfortunate and sad that I had to go through a car accident where the airbags went off, trauma and everything to kind of like, I would say like fast forward my plans in life and everything because getting a sexy red or just giving a new car in general was not in the plan until i was closer to 30 or at 30 and i wanted the car to last me my old car two more years but god in the universe i have different plans it was a blessing in disguise because i literally did struggle the month of february and march i was driving my uncle's 1998 honda crv it got overheated i got stuck i was literally at a point where i'm like well i got no car so public transportation it is and like i hit up my girl lexi because at that time she was commuting from from uh, Corona to uh, downtown LA. So like I needed tips and tricks because I literally was like at a point and then my th my tia, like my mother, you know, was so sweet. This was the week of my birthday. <laughs> she was like, oh, weren't you out of car for her? I'm like, no, because I don't know when I'm gonna get the car. And my birthday weekend was on Easter. So like I wanted to get the car on Sunday, but it was Easter. What happens if I didn't get the car? So I set my expectations low, but then that Friday I was like out of work and I'm like, I want to go buy a car let's go buy a car and then i was searching i already knew what car i wanted i wanted a toyota camry the goal was a toyota camry xse hybrid but not not required but a toyota camry xse before that friday i did test drive an xse and an se i didn't like the se that because it wasn't push to start like i'm sorry if i'm gonna invest money into a vehicle uh, like thousands of dollars into a vehicle i want to push the start and i drove a red xse it had it was i was in my price range but the miles were too high that i um because i was gonna buy used i wasn't gonna buy like new off the lot it was red on the outside black interior it was really nice then i test drove it and i was like no i don't feel like this is the one friday i went to the toyota in cerritos saw the se and i was gonna like go for the se because it was cheaper i took my cousin's husband Corey, with me and then we stumbled upon sexy red and i was like yo this because under the lights homegirl was like like those like like the stars like ah literally because i'm like she's gorgeous i want her saw the price range in my price range saw the miles in my miles i was like period i test over and i'll and then i was just like thinking to myself am i going to regret leaving this dealership and not walking away with this car yeah i am so let's get it like to be transparent because of my past relationship i didn't you know because like you mirror each other you are a reflection of who you surround yourself with i didn't have the best credit i was like scared that i was like don't tell me that i'm gonna have to freaking get a co-signer because i don't want to get a co-signer I, I really want to get this car by myself on my own I, and i knew going in getting a new car i knew that i was gonna have to make fat payments like fat payments on them and that was just the reality of it honestly everything works out in your favor because i ended up getting approved and i ended up getting it in the price range of like payment monthly payments that i wanted it and the fact that i'm able to like afford this car i was like wow the universe got my back for sure also i was not a fan of the red interior Corey was like my cousin's husband was like fobs you got no kids so there's no kids gonna be in this car i'm like you're right it's just me and then he like painted the picture like imagine you go out to the club and like you got your heels you're ready all your girls and then we'll see this car because it's um it's tinted windows and the tinted windows is dark as to grab the camera real quick because it keeps moving but he was like once they see you pull out they're like oh shit. that's a homegirl and the best part about this car is that the previous owner was a girl period queen and there's only one owner and she took a very good care of it like i was mentioning my car accident was a blessing in disguise it jump started i feel like it fast forward months if not even a year of what i had planned i work at a law firm so i ended up taking i ended up opening the case and everything but it just got closed out it's about to get closed out we are done but no i named her sexy red because i was like i don't know what to name her and then hilda was like why don't you just name her sexy red because i'm like true because she's red and she's sexy in the inside and the outside she's white and the fact that like this car i was just like manifesting like oh my god i really want a white car but i'll settle for gray i really wanted a white car and then like if it comes with tinted windows bomb black rims a bomb and when i went to the dealership and i saw that i had 
everything and even had the moon roof but then when i saw the interior the red interior i was like oh i wanted it black but no now i'm obsessed with the red like the red makes it even look more even more sexy like that's why i was like miss sexy red but this was my b-day gift to myself on my 28th birthday but anyway i'm blabbing um let's get to work <laughs> But I usually tell the baby girls good morning every day and I have it and it's Wednesday But I'm gonna tell them um, buenos dias like real quick Buenos dias baby girls. Happy Wednesday Mamita has been a little bit MIA, but she's been on her zoom. She's been on her zoom <laughs> It's Thursday mm, I didn't vlog yesterday after work. I was gonna go to the gym after work, but um and then I got into complete clothes and I laid down and then I didn't even end up meal prepping and I don't even have food for today so I gotta go buy food. So yesterday I went to Jack in the Box and I ordered two chicken wraps and I was about to get fries or curly fries but I was like nah let's, the two wraps is good. Girl I only ate one of the wraps but this is what I mean when I say that I am the luckiest girl. God in the universe is on my side and always working in my favor because guess what got my order and then I was like told the um the cashier I was like my sprite and then they're like oh I thought you said fries I ended up with fries in my bags and I was thinking about getting fries and I didn't it's like the little things like that where on my Okay, dokie. I said on my stories. I don't know if I said in this vlog yet. My brain is dory when it comes to vlogging because I don't know what I've said exactly. And I don't know if I said it or mentioned it or not. But ever since I started playing volleyball at the beach um, with Wednesday, which is one of the Latina baddies. She does volleyball in the summer. It's like volleyball club at the beach. And I want to play indoor. I've been enjoying right now playing. One of the girls that go plays volleyballs with Wednesday. She's part of a league. And I'm like, can you send me the info? She sends me the info, but I'm like, it's co-ed. I want all girlies. So then there's this other creator. Her name is Javi. She's a big Latina creator. And I saw that she joined like a volleyball league. I'm like, which one are you going to? I'm rambling, but the whole point is that like lucky girl syndrome, lucky girl vibes is that I was like, I want to figure out what league she's part of. I honestly didn't even go searching like on, on TikTok what league is she part of. I literally just searched volleyball league in Los Angeles. This page pops up, boom, it turns out that Javi is part of that one. I'm like, what are the odds? I manifested that because I was trying to figure it out and I was not intentionally looking for it, just stumbled upon. I ended up getting on the page and they do day passes, try it out, and then once the summer league is over, I'll join if there's availability. Anyways, that was my little rant, but I'm about to pull into work. Oh, and I also scheduled Sexy Red's first service appointment because homegirl is overdue for an oil change and one of the tire pressure is low. I need to keep my baby girl happy because if baby girl's happy, I'm happy. And I know it's just like a materialistic car but i see it that she is my child she's my baby we obviously according to this vlog you can see that we spend a lot of time here i just got home from work i'm literally so exhausted oh my god um story time i i don't really like to open mail it's just like can this could have been sent in an email but i open mail like regular envelope mail because a lot of it's spam mostly and dmv of california Sure, let me just open it. It's already like my second envelope. I didn't open the first one. You must be like, why, Fabiola? I thought it had to be something like about my car, like, because I got like a lot of notices that once I got my car. Something in me was like, let me open up this envelope. I open it and it said, my car is suspended, like something about that. I was like, suspended? Apparently, I forgot to register my car with the DMV. I went and got insurance, but I thought the dealership was gonna handle that. I don't know what. So my car ended up being suspended. It said that it was gonna be suspended after this date. Keep in mind, when I open up the mail, it's already been past that three day of suspension. So I was driving my car suspended for three days. Gracias a Dios. I was not pulled over. And that's me living next to a freaking sheriff's department. I had to reinstate my car. It cost $14 just to prove, just to show them like, hey, 
Here's proof of insurance. The car is insured. I'm so tired. My feet hurt too. I left work early. Like, traffic wasn't too bad. Got to work at 8. Like, clocked in at my desk at 8.45. I was like, yeah, let me just leave, like, around. I technically was off by 5.20, but I ended up being off by, like, 5.25. And the drive home seems so much more longer. Like, so much more longer. It literally took an hour and 15 to get home. When usually, after I leave, like, 6.15, but I or 610 it takes me about like 45 minutes to 50 minutes maybe that maybe it's my sign that I need to get to work earlier to leave earlier that means I have to be up before 5 in the morning because lately I've been getting up around like 5 15 5 30 being at the gym around 5 45 6 but this just means I have to be up like around 4 30 I'm literally exhausted and tired and sick. I think I might take a little nap I already sleep with one two three four four pillows body pillows five and then i have the blanket and then i have this this is how i sleep comfortably like i'm being hugged or cuddled but this the, i'm double pillowed right now because i'm talking to you i'm gonna take a quick nap 10 46 went down for a nap and now um, woke up like 15 minutes ago i was tired this is your sign to listen to your body I just did my skincare routine. I hope that when I edit back on this vlog, I hope it jump starts even more on my, you know, discipline. That's why I struggle, is my discipline. I tell myself I'm gonna do something and then I'm like, and I push it back. So hopefully like when I edit, I look back on it, I'm like, girl, you are lazy. Get up, stand up, stand on business. It's just work. I, I like what I do. But it's just so mentally draining. Happy Friday. I can't believe like I slept for like, what, like almost four hours? I forgot to set my alarms. So I woke up naturally at 7.10. I had a lot of sleep in last night. Bow, 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 bow. Yeah. It's me and Sexy Red. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, Miss Sexy Red got our first oil change, tire rotation, and everything. Adulting. Update you guys because yesterday I only updated you guys on Friday, but yesterday uh, I started watching Love Island. Yesterday. And the episodes are like an hour, hour and a half long. I'm on episode eight. Don't tell me what to do. I'm trying to catch up. I'm trying to catch up. I'm on episode eight right now. Kendall triggers me because it reminds me of the dude that I was that I was talking to. And if anything, Kendall's taller. This dude that I was talking to was a short key. No more being like, ugh, or like sad girl vibes on a short man. The dude was five eight. Mm. Any dude that comes into my life, and if he if he says that it's five, I'm like five what? If it's five ten and below. God, you can keep them. You can keep them. I'm good. I'm good. And I know that 5'10 and above ain't no better. I just woke up from a nap. But you hear this? My neighbors are going off. Like, they did, like, a whole intro to Jenny. Like, you know how they do, like, in Las Bandas? Where, like, Jenny Rivera. And then they play, like, little clips of their most popular songs. That's what they were doing. Like, sick and bye. I'm getting ready to go to my... Uncles in South Central. Damn, they're having karaoke. No, Lita. This is why I love living in like Latino neighborhoods. Like, damn, they got me in a Jenny mood. It's Sunday and we're gonna do a voiceover for Sunday meal prep, which I'm cooking chicken, rice, edamame, and then mi salmon. Each salmon has about 28 grams of protein. And then this is the chicken that I use. I know. I buy frozen chicken because I'm freaking lazy. This is the sauce that I use to season my chicken. Meal prepping only takes me about an hour because of the frozen chicken that I buy. I prepare my containers, which it's gonna get me uh, 10 meals. It's super simple of just, you know, rice, salmon, chicken, edamame, and rice with mi salmon. I eat it with kimchi and seaweed on the side. All right, so that was the weekend of my life. Like I said, all over the place, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you ever want to stay until the end, comment down a white heart, but also comment below what other videos you want to see. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.